people, welcome back. Welcome to a video idea <laughs> that hit me in the middle of the night. And I don't know if this is gonna be good or not. I don't I don't know how it's gonna resonate with you guys, but I wanted to test it out. So for today's video, we are gonna be sitting down and talking about, I think I have nine or 10 items here, and I am titling this Makeup I Love That Doesn't Love Me Back, which basically means that these are products that I love, you know, maybe the application or the look or the, you know, the idea of it, whatever, but I can't use them because they do this, like just, just because they don't work for me. And the reason that I like this video idea is because on this channel, if you, if you don't know if you're new here, um, I do so many videos dedicated to like things I love or month and favorites, you know, stuff like that. And I also do a ton of videos that are, you know, just product fails, makeup that I hate, whatever. And I never have any room really to include these products because they're, they're kind of like that 50%, like they work for me, but also they don't. And I just wanted to have a way that I could showcase them, talk about them. And of course you guys can let me know down in the comments. Do you like the video, the products? Like have you had a similar experience or do you love them? So on and so forth. Make sure that you're sounding off down there because I love to hear from you. Now, really quickly, if you are interested in seeing these products, if you want to hear what I have to say, definitely hang tight. We're going to get into it in a second. But before we do that, I do like to pause briefly at the start of my videos and just introduce myself for anybody that might be new. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Welcome to the channel. Uh, again, if you're new here, I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they usually go up right around like 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. So we have bright early morning uploads. Um, and then also, if you haven't done so yet, yeah, maybe you haven't heard, um, I have an Instagram and I will leave it linked down below. I would really, really appreciate it if you would go follow me over there. It's super fun. I love it and I hope you do too. Again, if you haven't followed me, everything is linked down below. Also, really quickly, I just got done filming, uh, testing new drugstore makeup and I'll link that up here. So if you're curious about any of the makeup, you want to see it applied. Of course, everything will be listed down in the description box. The makeup, the outfit, um, the top here is from Urban. The necklace is from my Amazon favorite storefront. All of that will be listed. Now, I will say just as a little, a little precursor, a little spoiler alert, the only thing I am not wearing from that video is the lip. And that's because we are going to be talking about it in this video because <laughs> I have some thoughts. So hang tight for that. But anyways, you guys, enough introduction. I want to go ahead and get going into my first product. And for my first product, this is one. This, this is literally the first thing that I wrote down on my list. Like I sat there and I thought for about a millisecond, what is one item? Like just, just one item that you absolutely love it, but it betrays you every single time. And it is so painful, okay, for me to say this out loud, but this is the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. And you guys, I freaking loved this mascara. Like if you've been here, I don't even know, when did this launch? Maybe four or five-ish months ago? Oh my God, the beauty of this mascara. It is full. It has an amazing, oh my God, this bristle brush. Ooh, bitch, she is so sexy. It is like such a nice little lightly tapered hourglass. It has beautiful, long, little thick bristles. There's a ton of them. And the way that this builds up on my lashes, the way that it pulls all the way through, it builds volume, it builds length. It is just, oh my God, it is such a beautiful mascara. But unfortunately, <laughs> Unfortunately, just like so many other things in life, things that seem to be perfect and are not, um, this mascara, it flakes so, <laughs> so damn bad on me. And you guys, I have tried everything with this. I tried applying it less. I tried, oh, I even, oh, my favorite. I even tried applying this and like getting it up to the nice, like the thick voluminous look that I had, which with this mascara, it just ugh, it looks so good. Uh, but I would even get it to that stage and then like try to seal it in with another mascara, like try, try to coat over top of it. <laughs> so that way it didn't flake off so bad. And there was nothing I could do. I tried that. I tried different under eye concealers, different powders, different, different everything. And you know, nothing, nothing worked because it's just a flaky mascara. When I tell you this one really broke my soul down. Okay. As somebody that does not wear false lashes, it, it can be hard a lot of times to find a mascara that gives you that fullness, that drama, that effect that you're looking for. And this mascara did just that for me. It looked so, so damn beautiful. And in the end, it just betrayed me. Oh, it betrayed me. And I'm not going to lie to you and say that I'm going to waste the other half of this tube because I'm not going to, okay? I'm going to find a way to use this. Um, even if it's just like, hey, I have to film a video and then take it right back off or something, I don't care. I will find a way to use this mascara because I love, I, I just, I so genuinely love the way that it looks. I, I, I can't throw it away, okay? Not only do I not want to waste it because like I, that ain't how I roll um, and you can't obviously re-gift or donate a mascara, but like I, oh, I just love it so much. And it, guys, it just, it flakes so bad. It makes me so upset. Also, by the way, right now would be a great time for me to interject. If you have the same feeling or the same situation, or if I'm saying these words to you, if I'm saying them and I am speaking directly to you, please let me know down in the comments so that way I know I am not alone because it is so lonely, okay? Feeling like you are the only one. Like I legitimately sat here like, oh my God, am I the only person that feels this way? Because I just, oh, some of these, I keep looking in this box and like, it, as I'm looking at them all collected, it's almost too much. Like my heart almost <laughs> can't handle all the disappointment. Um, so let me know down below if I'm the only one, okay? Because I need, I need, I need some togetherness. We need, this needs to be a thing like with the both of
both of us, okay? So let me know down below. All right, so next up, product number two is a product that I did not expect to feel this way about. Like, I did not expect to mourn the loss of this product in some weird way, but y'all, this uh, Rare Beauty Foundation, oh, <laughs> she got me so good, okay? The way that it blends into the skin, the coverage, the like the feeling of it, the viscosity, <gasps> bitch, it's so beautiful. I just, I love the way that it looks. Even one step farther than that, okay? Like, the way that it looks when all my makeup is on, everything, like, the, the last setting spray has been sprayed, and just the way that it looks on my skin is absolutely amazing. Like, when I film a video with this, I feel like my skin looks so stunning. Oh, and by the way, side note, I do have a full video um, of, like, going through testing Rare Beauty. I'll link it up here if you're if you're curious and you want to actually, you know, see it applied, see what I'm talking about. But this foundation, it's just, oh my gosh, from the, from the moment that I used it, I couldn't believe how nice it really did look and settle into my skin. Oh, but that was until, <laughs> until I tried to wear it for more than, like, an hour and it settled into every damn line, you guys. When I tell you, oh <laughs> my god, okay, it settles in to every little crack, every crevasse, every little pink that I have on my skin. It just settles right into it, and I have tried everything. I've tried everything to make this foundation look the way that it looks for the first, uh, you know what, I would say like the first maybe hour, hour and a half, like right in there, it looks beautiful. And then something happens. It's literally like a light switch, pink, and it just poof, looks like shit. Like I, I, there's no way to fix it. And it is the most upsetting, <laughs> the, the, the most heart crushing thing because it looks so damn beautiful. And I don't know what I'm doing. I've tried primers. I've tried powders. I've tried setting sprays. I've tried the whole damn bit. And I feel like no matter what I do to try and correct, it like oh it looks matte well let's go you know a little more hydrating with this or that nope that doesn't work so then we have to you know it's, it's like no matter what I do I just I'm trying to correct to the other direction and it doesn't want to be saved now I will say similar to the mascara I obviously don't want any of these to go to waste and this one if you see me using it like in the future in a video or something uh, like you know just as far as you know like if I'm sitting there talking and I'm already wearing it it's because this foundation I still can get use out of it that way like wearing it for short periods of time an hour hour and a half to film a video something like like that. So for me, that's kind of the route that I go so I can just eliminate, again, some of the wastefulness of it because I really do love the way that it looks. Like in those those little targeted moments, that hour, hour and a half that I'm wearing it, it looks so, so beautiful. But my God, it just, it will not last on me. Every crack, every crevasse, it's just like, bitch, I got stuff to do. Boom, I got to just settle right in, take a little nap. And it looks so bad. So just, you know, I want to throw that out there. I don't, I don't know if I'm the only one. Maybe it's because I'm 31 and I got little wrinkly ass crevasses. Who knows? All right, now this one's a little different, okay? This is the Makeup by Mario Master Secret Glow Highlighter, and it's in the shade Expensive. The concept of this and the way that it actually looks like uh, on the high points of my cheek, it's actually quite beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it right there. I think you can see it. It's basically like a thick gel consistency that you can put all over, and it's meant to give you like that targeted, natural kind of model-esque glow. Now, I will say for me, normally, this type of a product, and anything in like the weird gooey type family that messes with your foundation, this is normally not it for me, but this one I actually did really, really enjoy because the texture is just thick enough. Like it has has just enough ass behind it that when I put it on the high points of my face, I'm able to get that really beautiful um, kind of lit from within glowy look and it doesn't mess with my foundation and it's actually really, really pretty. However, <laughs> however, um, this little ditty dandy here somehow, somehow manages to I don't know how to say it any other way than to say it melts the makeup <laughs> off my face. Like, if I apply it right here, I notice that my makeup is literally sliding down my face. It is the most bizarre thing. Like, from here down, and it's almost like this somehow, it, it reacts to the heat of my skin. And so every single time, okay, every single time I have tried to wear it, it's it ends up being a situation where I apply it, and I actually really like the way that it looks. I like that glossy, you know, feeling, whatever. Obviously, I will say right now, if you're ever gonna wear something like this, for the love of God, wear your hair back because everything just poof sticks right to it. Again, for me, if I'm going for like photos or something like that, it did look super beautiful, but I just couldn't stop that that whole thing where it was like somehow getting underneath of my foundation and it just caused way too much separation, way too much sloughage. Like I'm talking after maybe an hour of wearing this, I would look in the mirror and I would notice that like how it started here, all of a sudden all of my blush and all of this would just be like moving, <laughs> moving down, getting super muddy, really weird and patchy. And it was just 
just really, really weird. Again, I don't know if I'm the only one. I feel like th that is definitely a very odd complaint with this, um, but it was definitely something that I did not, <laughs> did not very much care for. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next product because I just realized I've only talked about, I think, three things, and I've been talking for roughly 17 years. So we're, we're gonna speed it along a little bit. And next up, we're gonna talk about a concealer. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. And oh my God, you guys, I want to love this concealer. Oh, I wanna love it with everything that I have. The texture of this is just so beautiful. It has such a nice lightweight kind of feel, but at the same time, it has beautiful, beautiful full coverage. It is robust. And you can't even hardly see it on camera, but the texture of this freaking concealer, you guys, it is so nice. It has like a, um, like a light whipped kind of feel to it, but it blends out absolutely beautiful. It has an amazing coverage to it. And the light illusion part of this really is gorgeous under the eyes. Like it has a, a lifting, light reflecting kind of vibe, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Like when, when it comes down to concealers in terms of texture and blend and all of that, this one is just stellar. It's so, so beautiful, which is really unfortunate because I cannot wear it, okay? I cannot wear it. Oh my God, it looks so bad <laughs> under my eyes every single time. I have tried blending this out with a brush, with a sponge, with my finger, just like a little dot and a two, two, two. Still don't work. I have tried different powders. I have tried primers. I have tried everything, okay? And I cannot make this work. Now, I will say in its defense, I have been trying to use it like over my cheek region because again, I don't want it to go, you know, to waste. So I've been trying to find other uses for it. And it does seem to perform a little bit better in those areas. But no matter what, I still do at the end of the day have an issue with like the separation and just overall, like the breakdown of this product on my skin seems to be very, very fast. And it's just the most sad thing because it's so, so, oh my God, like even looking at it on my hand, it is just such a beautiful, beautiful product, but like, damn, okay. It just, it breaks down. It's like, it's gone. It's like, what, 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 who, who ate it? It's gone. I don't even know where it goes. I would actually believe that I got little goblins living in my under eyes. Okay. That is the level of food consumption <laughs> that we are talking about with this concealer. And it's just so unfortunate because I just, I love it so much and I can't wear it. <laughs> so next up, we're going to talk about, um, an item that I, <laughs> I am still so upset about like to this moment and we're just going to get into it. Okay. The Dominique Cosmetics Beautiful Mess Liquid Eyeshadows, you guys. Oh, I wanted to love these so bad. Okay. If you saw them, if you saw them swatch, this is Electric Soul. I just swatched it just now and oh <laughs> my God. Okay. Is that not beautiful? It's so light. It's so gorgeous. Even the texture of it is so airy. And the downside. Oh yeah. Of course there's the downside. Yeah. Um, these literally run off of your eyelids. Like they just, whoop, they, just they just flake away. Like they, like they were never there in the first place. Just peace out. Gotta go. And when I tell you, I have tried everything to make these work. Like I have, I've even noticed, okay, that they were flaking off. Like, oh, I'll just grab a little bit. Like I'll try to touch up. Oh, <laughs> big mistake. Don't try to touch up because guess what? Then they just flake off twice as fast. Okay. So you can't do that. You can't try any sort of primer. That doesn't help. You can't do this. You can't do that. I even tried using these fun fact. Okay. I tried using them as like a base for eyeshadows. Like if I just went in maybe with a little bit of this, patted it out and then put some shadow over top, like maybe that would help. <laughs> no. Okay. It made it, it made it way worse because then at that point I had this flaking off and guess what was on top of it? Eyeshadow, which also started to flake off just all down my face. If you, oh my God. Okay. If you want to be violent and I mean violent and have your whole day just wrecked, like I'm talking wrecked to the point that like no amount of Diet Cokes with light eyes can fix. Just put one of these on your eyelids. And what really kills me, you know, again, kind of, kind of the theme of this whole video here is that when you first apply them or when you swatch them, when you look at them, the texture and the, and the way that they look on your eye at first really is so beautiful. Like the, the application was quick. And I actually really, and just as a side note, I really like the wand with these. It's like a nice flat paddle applicator. And when I was going in, I was actually able to take this and do like a whole half moon cut crease kind of thing. Super fast, super easy because the texture of them is just so lightweight and so easy to use, um, which, which again makes makes it very much so upsetting when it just starts to flake all over your damn face. So I just, I just don't recommend these, okay? They're very, very hurtful and I, and I don't think I ever touched on them, but yeah, don't, don't, just don't do it. All right, so this one I debated putting in this video because I really love the company and I really love who they collabed with, but I cannot sit here in good conscience and not mention with this video specifically, these glosses from the ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie collab. And I'm gonna hit these ones just like I did with all the rest and the first thing I want to say is, like I said before, this has nothing to do with Raw Beauty Christie. This isn't, um, you know, like a slam on her, her collab, or anything like that. I actually think in terms of, like, influencers and YouTubers, she is probably one of my top favorites of all time because I love what she does, what she represents, and how she's always been, like, very authentically herself. I just, I really appreciate that as someone who is, you know, into humor and into being, like, weird, quirky, goofy. I'm not perfect. I don't have, you know, like, the cookie cutter or anything. Um, I, I really appreciate her as an influencer, and I just want to, I want to throw that out there because sometimes, sometimes, um, stands of a person, like of an influencer can get very, very touchy when you, when you talk about things. And I don't want that to be the case going into these because I, I want you to realize, okay, we are 
on the same side, but like these glosses, okay, <laughs> these glosses are not on our side because they are a shit show, okay? We're gonna get there. But anyways, let's just talk about it. So first thing, I love, love about these. I love the color. I love the shine. I love love the way that they actually like physically look on the lips. They have such an amazing, hold on, let me, let me really get that one good and gooey there. They have such a beautiful, beautiful shine. And I love too that with this collab, she actually um, decided to go with two more neutral options. I thought that that was a really good decision because it made it so they were just a little bit more versatile. You know, one has the nice little sparkle. One is more of just like a light little peachy pink moment, but both of them are very easy to use. So obviously when I first got them, I was super duper excited, but let me tell you, okay, wearing these, Oh my God, they are a sticky, goopy ass mess. And no matter what you do, okay, no matter what, I don't care. I don't care if you try to wear them all over your lips, just on the little outskirts right here. I don't care. These are nothing but sticky, goopy, and they make those little those little strings on your lips. Oh God, I just, oh, I cannot wear them. I have tried so many times because I really do, I really do love the collab and I love Christy and I love ColourPop. But like this for me was just such a disappointment because for as much as I love the look of them and the way that they really do give you that nice shine, I cannot stand the texture. Like I just, I can't make it work for me. And it wouldn't have been right for me as somebody who is always open about like the autoimmune diseases and stuff like that. Like I physically cannot handle weird textures and like weird situations. Um, and this is just one of those things where I put it on and I was like, oh my God, I love it. Literally within three seconds, I was like, and like my, my face was like rejecting these glosses because they just, oh, they just, they just, they do not jive. Okay. In any way, shape or form, I can't do it. Moral of the story. They just, oh, they betrayed me and they got me good. Oh, you got me good. Okay. So now I'm down to my last two items and these are both items that I'm wearing on my lips right now. So I kind of saved them to the very end. That way I could go over them together. And I am actually going to start off with this one from Benefit. This is called their Posy Tint and it is their Poppy Pink Tinted Lip and Cheek Stain. And this is in the video because as you can see on my lips right here, it has a beautiful, beautiful color to it. The texture is nice. It's light. Using it as a lip stain, you can go in. You can really just let it settle into your lips. And I love that it doesn't make them feel like weird or sticky or anything like that. Like it just, it truly is, in my opinion, one of the best lip stains that I have found because it doesn't leave me with any weird texture. And a lot of times I'll just take this and put a gloss over it and be fine. Um, and that's like my favorite way to wear it. So at this point, again, you might be wondering, Paige, why, why are you talking about it? Like, what, what is the problem? You guys, have you ever, ever in your I've tried to use this as an actual cheek stain. Ugh. It will make you, it will make you violent, okay? I have tried to use this. <sighs> I have tried to use this so many times as a cheek stain and it never works, if anything. Okay, let me, let me just break this down for you. This will do the following. As opposed to staining my cheeks, it will move my foundation. It will not allow foundation. Like if I try to put it under or over, oh, not neither. It doesn't, doesn't work either way. Uh, I cannot blend. I cannot powder. I cannot do anything with this. And then to top it all off, if it gets into contact with my actual cheek skin, bitch, it's never, never coming off. I don't know what the problem is there. By the way, here, here's a little swatch of it. If you want to see um, like the color out of the jar, it is more of like a bright pinky look, but once you blend it out, it has like a really, really nice light pink tint. I actually, when I applied it today, I did build it up a little bit just so you could see it on camera, but naturally, you know, it is just a lighter, more of like a flush pink. And I think if I go back far enough in my memory, I want to say I have been trying to make these work, um, like as far as a cheek tint goes since they sent them. Oh yeah. Cause by the way, Benefit sent me these, they sent me this one and the, um, the other shade that I was talking about. Um, but I've been trying to make these work as a cheek tint for so long. Like I'm talking several months at this point. I want I want to say they sent them like sometime right around summer. Again, they were the perfect item for this type of video because no matter what I do, I like I can make them work in one application. I can't make them work in another. And I would really, really love it if I could make them work on my cheeks because I love the color and I love, I really love the weightless feel of them. Like they just, they have such a, like such a nice satisfying type of texture. But just for me with what, whatever I got going on on my skin, I don't know if it's my pores, maybe it's my texture, who knows, but I cannot make them work on my cheeks. And it just makes me, makes me so upset. So I wanted to throw it out there. <laughs> All right. So now at this point, we are officially on to the final item. This is the, again, the other thing that I'm wearing on my lips. And I don't think I ever talked about this one in a video. Maybe I did. I'm not sure. But this is the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer. It is supposed to be a conditioning lip treatment. And this doesn't have any color to it or anything, but it does have a beautiful, beautiful look. Like I'm talking especially paired over top of this, um, 
over top of this here stain, over over top of this here stain. Um, I just think it looks so nice. Like it makes the, the lips look really nice and juicy and plump, uh, which is which is all fantastic, except for one little thing. One little thing, okay, there is nothing <laughs> lip conditioning about this product. Or maybe there is, maybe it's just me, okay? Like maybe my lips, maybe, maybe my lips just like to be little bitches and they don't wanna accept anything good or conditioning about them. But there is just something about it, okay, nonetheless, that it just will not work for me. And this isn't a product that I've only tried a couple of times. Like this, this is one that when I first started wearing it, okay, I have a way that I kind of work products into my system. And for something like this, where, you know, I like it, I swatch it, and I'm like, oh, wow, this is really pretty. I start wearing it during the day, you know, just like I am right now. And I go, oh, wow, this is really pretty. I like it with a stain, or I like it over a lip liner. It's lightweight, stuff like that. And then eventually, because this is technically a conditioning lip treatment, I will, you know, work it into my overnight, where I'll kind of throw it on before I go to bed. I'll wake up, and I'll really see how do my lips feel? Do they feel nourished? Do they feel, you know, X, Y, and Z? Are they dry? So on and so forth. Because unfortunately, you know, I have, I have had lip conditioning treatments or balms or whatever that they do actually dry out my lips and I've woken up in the morning like, Ugh! like I've never, like I've never seen water a day in my life. Um, and, it, and it really is unfortunate when that happens. Well, I will say, fortunate enough, um, that wasn't the total experience that I had with this. I, I would say it didn't necessarily like dry out my lips, but it is the type of product that I find, you know, I, I wear it during the day and it's okay. Like again, it looks pretty. I don't have any issues with it. I, I feel like more than anything with this one, <laughs> this is going to be a weird description, but I feel like more than anything, it's, it's kind of like a guard. Like it sits on my lips and it looks pretty, but it doesn't really allow <laughs> like, like anything in or out. Like the best way to describe it is, you know, I didn't wake up with like Sahara little lips that were just uh, like, just <laughs> absolutely awful. But I also didn't wake up feeling conditioned or good or like, like super soft and supple either. Um, and so I kept trying it like over and over again, because you guys know me, like I, I'm that bitch that I just, I gotta do it. I gotta just gotta do it over and over again in the hopes that eventually <laughs> one of the days it will work. And unfortunately for me, uh, th this was just never one of those products. I think it gets to a point too, where when you're trying to, like, when you are trying so hard to love a product, which obviously I do okay, obviously I'm a diehard dryer over here, uh, but it gets to the point where eventually you're just like, you know what, even if it doesn't do whatever it's supposed to do, if I can just love it for this, like if, if I can just, ooh, then that'll be fine. And so eventually with this one, I ended up lowering it down to the expectation of, I'm gonna put a little on before I go to bed, and hopefully when I wake up in the morning, my lips just aren't super chapped. <laughs> like, I'll, like I'll, I'll just accept that, okay? As long as you keep the dry out. And you know what? I actually think this is the perfect product for me to end on, which, oh, by the way, if I didn't say it, um, I was trying to go through and tell you, like, with each product, am I gonna keep it, declutter it, you know, that, like, how am I gonna use it going forward? And this is one that I probably will use until it's gone, just because I've already used, I mean, I've, I've probably already used almost half of it, and I figure this is, again, another one of those ones that I can't declutter, and I can technically get, like, you know, some kind of use out of it. So I will keep using this one and the lip tint, you know, because, again, I can get use out of them that way, and that way there's less waste. Um, but as far as these go, I feel like it's the perfect, or as far as this goes, I think it is the perfect item to end on because this box for me, like it represents the perfect, um, the perfect amount of dedication, I feel like, and you can let me know down below, but I feel like makeup lovers, like true makeup enthusiasts, we have this thing inside of us where we just, like we are so dedicated <laughs> to, to not letting something die. Like we will use it any way that we can because, well, A, in, in most instances or all instances, we bought it ourselves. And obviously if you pay for something, you want to use it. But even more than that, at least for me, like I have this dedication because I am like bound and determined to find something good about whatever makeup I can. Like I just, I feel like there's so many like things out there to test and so many things to try and everything works different for everybody else. So like if I can try something and it doesn't work like this, but maybe it works like this, that could be valuable information. That could be something just like this video. If you have these products and they don't work for you, you might have another way that you can try them. Or if you have a similar product, maybe you can try it and you know, I just, I feel like there really is so much value in trying to make things work for you and trying to have that grit and that determination. And I've just, I've really never seen it in, in anybody quite like I've seen it in makeup people. Of course, you can tell me what you think down below. Like I said, I love to hear from you guys and I really want to hear from you, um, especially on these or like, what well, what is actually, you know what? Here's a good one too. The video, do you like the video, the concept, these products, but also bonus points. Do you have an item like this? Like, like your, what is your in-between product where you're like, oh, I love X, Y, and Z about it, but like, damn, one, two, three, it just sucks. <laughs> like, like there, there's that, that juxtaposition. And also, how do you correct it? Do you still use it or did you just throw it away? Like, give me all of the information, okay? Give me all the tea because I need to know. I, ne I need to know if I'm the only one. Like, if, am I alone in this cosmos? Am I alone in the universe? Let me know all of your thoughts down below because I want to hear from you. And then, of course, like I said at the start of the video, a brief little recap here. You can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram, all of which would be really appreciated, especially Instagram because y'all know I'm still trying to grow it. You guys, I think that that is everything. Thank you
thank you all so, so much for watching. Again, I hope you really liked it. I know it's different, but I hope you liked it. And yeah, I hope you guys are all having an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. All right, so next up we have, a <laughs> okay. Oh no, don't you dare, don't you dare, you little harlot. You little hussy, hussy. My God, hussy is such a good word. You little hussy. I think if I got called a hussy, I'd be like, okay, bitch is moving up in the world.